so sneak peek time. Real Ooh. quick. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, May are we? This Model 5. Yeah. What are we talking? Teslas now? Look at this. Oh, the Model 3. Model 3? Those Coming out cuties. this year. So uh, the same principles as Model 5. Um, really, really beautiful speakers. Just a little smaller. We've got a little 8-inch version. Uh, two-way instead of three-way. Same finishes. You'll see West African mahogany or English walnut. And they'll have the grill options. The, the walnut comes with a lighter stonewash grill. The mahogany comes with the darker um, old world linen, as Carrie calls it, grill. <laughs> <laughs> Stands included, seven fifty each. You're talking a fifteen hundred dollar pair of really awesome loudspeakers. And that that um, does include the stand. Yep. Oh, stand okay. okay. Yeah. And and, and then, so uh, those are those are going to be on the floor. Um, how how high is the tweeter relative to? Because it's kind of hard to see from the picture. Uh, the entire loudspeaker, the entire loudspeaker on the stand uh, is twenty eight inches high. So the tweeter okay. I'd say is probably around twenty five. All right, all right. Yeah. So these oh, would, would these be smaller. okay for a like a home theater setup? Would that be like if I well, if you got I, a bunch of these, would that be all right? Well, absolutely. The short answer is yes. I could see where three of them would be. You know, left make a make up a left center. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I think it would probably be a great, be a great solution. We also have home theater solutions in our roadmap. You know. Don't know when we're looking to introduce any of those, but you know we do think uh, acoustic suspension is, uh, applies itself very well to some um, some yeah. dedicated home theater solutions. So we, oh. we're, going to, we're going to experiment with hmm. that. Oh, maybe some like seven of those. I'll, I'll <laughs> keep those off the ceiling, but yeah, seven of the four. Well, you might, oh. or you might want to make a combo with the Model Seven. Oh, what? So. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Just in case the Model Five wasn't rocking enough, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, coming in or look, targeting about sixteen hundred each. Um, who knows with the price of finishes and lumber and all that? But that's our target right now. Um, these are a thirteen-inch version of the Model Five, so deeper base extension. Slim cabinet. At first, I thought the proportions were off here, Carrie. I thought uh, our graphic design team smushed them yeah. a little bit and <laughs> stretched them out. But, you know, you did design them that way yep. with only a nine-inch depth, right? Yep, yep. Uh, just kind of uh, just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. You know, everybody out in the world seems to be, you know, for the last 30 years do, you know, tower slender loudspeakers. And um, I've always tended to be kind of a big area, kind of low frequency guy, you know, a lot of, 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 of cross-sectional area. Mm. And so the big 13 inch driver, like we were talking earlier, you know, big, big driver means big suspension. So good displacement. Um, uh, I like a wider baffle just simply because a wider baffle, um, You'll notice in the Model 5, for example, of course, you have a one-inch tweeter, but you also notice it had a four-inch uh, mid-range driver. Which four-inch mid-range driver is pretty small, generally speaking, for a mid-range. It seems like most of them start out at about five inches, and you'll see them up to a six, maybe even six and a half inches. I tend to be on the small side, and the reason I do that is because it makes a smaller point source, and it has a, a higher... Um, uh, coverage pattern, better distribution at higher frequencies. And I like the larger baffle because it keeps all of that in front of the loudspeaker. Uh, so I think it makes a better um, uh, presentation overall when you have a wider baffle design. So um, uh, uh, so I like a generally a, a wider loudspeaker. And then, of course, the depth. I mean, there's just really no reason why uh, loudspeakers have to be as deep as, you know, for example, the rear projection TVs we all <laughs> probably grew up with when we were kids, right? Um, you know, it seems like that was kind of the what drove those tower speakers to be that deep. I mean, they were they were getting crazy there for a while. Uh, with with the with the you know, of course, the shallow TVs that are available that are being put on the wall, and then 
uh, the credenzas or, or uh, and those kind of furniture fixtures that are kind of you typically kind of find underneath the TV in a living room, living space or something like that. Feel that a, a shallower loudspeaker uh, aesthetically is a better solution. Yeah. Next uh, thing you're going to tell me, it's wall mountable too. <laughs> well, <laughs> not yet, but but, uh, but believe me, the, the thought has crossed my mind. <laughs> so in, uh, in Europe, in Europe, they'd want you to t- turn it sideways because they like the slim. Yeah, <laughs> the turn slim. it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>